This is our new water tank 2.0. And today we're going to talk about our water tank replacement in our North Star Liberty camper, which came with a 20 gallon water tank from the factory, similar to most small campers. The four wheel camper, 20 gallon water tank, and it's great for a weekend trip with a couple people. But if you're gonna go for a week or more, 20 gallons, not enough water. You're gonna be searching for water on the regular, not much fun. So we wanted to get something bigger. So we went up to this tank, which is a... 30. It's a 30 gallon tank, yeah. So it doubled our, or didn't double our capacity, but it gave us 50% .50 more water. Um, and originally we had picked this tank because we could still use the compartment underneath. However, I didn't know that the thicknesses of the tank make a big deal. And so when we went up, we stayed with the same thickness that we had in our original tank. And so when you add the 30 gallons to it, it bulges immensely. And we were very concerned about it leaking, even with the reinforcements when we were off-road. So the, the wall thickness is the plastic thickness on these tanks. So that's what she's talking about. And it's, uh, yeah, it's really a learning experience there. So the new tank, we replaced it with tank 3.0, which is actually a 40 gallon water tank. And it took a lot of work to fit it in. I'll show you a couple pictures of it, but basically we had to deconstruct the whole front section of the camper in order to get the thing in there because mm -hmm. it was just massive. I mean, just even trying to angle it down and just somehow you wedge it in there. We had to rebuild that front wall of the camper as well but it fits and yep. we now have twice the water capacity as before and the beauty with more water capacity is really just being able to stay out longer without having to deal with searching for water so for us our water usage is probably what three gallons a day i would think so so we t we typically shower most days just because we'll be out being active, get all dirty, <laughs> and then we'll want to shower. So we'll take a military style shower, uh -huh. and that will use probably what, half a gallon? Half each? a gallon, yeah. I would say probably a gallon together. So at least a gallon, and then our drinking water. So we might use, you know, three gallons, maybe four gallons on the high end. So this gives us easily 10 days of water, and Yay. probably closer to two weeks. Not sure about the two weeks. I do know that I we'll drink see. a lot of water, and when we're biking and active, we drink even more water. So we'll find out when we do a little bit more. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the camper and see what it looks like. The water tank is located behind this panel here. So let's go ahead and pull off the cover here, the seats, and then we'll take a look at the top of the tank. So we'll pull off the uh, Velcro these cushions on, and uh, so they kind of stay in place a little bit. And so this, this top piece lifts off and reveals the water tank. So this is our water tank. One of the things we ordered it with, uh, which we really love, is the top cover plate, which unscrews. It has a gasket in it, so it allows us access to the tank for several things. It's really handy. One is if we want to just dump water into the tank, we could do that. But also, it allows us ability to actually clean out the tank. So. Over time, you just get built up in a tank and it's really nice that we can actually wipe it out. So the tank end is in this little cabinet here and you can see this is where the, the tank ends here. And behind here, you can see the plumbing where it feeds up into the water pump. And then the fill hose is that big hose and then there's a vent hose at the top as well. So that is how we fit a 40 gallon water tank into our tiny camper and maybe you guys are in the same position and you want to fit a bigger water tank in your camper. We'll provide the links to the uh, tank we used and hopefully that can be helpful for you guys. It is our second replacement tank and I will say what we learned from the first tank allowed us to pick and, and have a lot higher quality for the second tank, which has been awesome. So really happy with this tank. And I would highly recommend, you know, adding additional water storage if you're going out for extended periods of time. It just increases the enjoyment factor immensely on trips. Our last Winnebago RV had over 60 gallons of water, which was awesome. 
and this camper just being so small we just we have limited options for size now if we do want more water we do have room in the truck in the in the back extended area to add a 17 gallon water tank which we had in there previously so we'll see if this is enough water for us we'll let you guys know kind of what our impression has been after we get a few months of travel with this setup so thanks for watching if you have any questions about installing a water tank or if you have any other thoughts on this water tank uh, replacement be sure to post it below so you can help out some other people that are looking to do something similar and otherwise thanks for watching hit the like and share button and we really appreciate it and we'll catch you on the next video thanks so much for watching Stand here. what you got here babe why well, i don't got it you do okay you can get it <laughs> Alright, so your turn. Your turn to get it. <clears throat> what you got there? I have the water tank. Oh, yes. That used to be in that thing. <laughs>